We're now going to do the NASA Lean Test. This is a test of postural intolerance and a test that we can do to help us work out and clinically reason if there might be an element of POTS present. If this is the case, we can then refer onwards to healthcare professionals that work in this area. POTS is also known as postural orthostatic tachycardic syndrome and it's characterised by tachycardia or an increase in heart rate when the individual changes from either being supine or laying down um, or in a seated position and then standing up. It's characterised in adults by an increase in heart rate of 30 beats per minute and in adolescents and children this is 40 beats per minute. To qualify for the criteria to have a positive NASA lean test that might indicate this, there's also another criteria that you can refer to our NASA lean form to see if the individual fits that criteria. The individual will be in a supine position, in a resting position for five to 10 minutes. We're then going to get their resting blood pressure and heart rate in this position. Once we've got a baseline measure of the individual's resting blood pressure and heart rate, we're then going to do the standing part of the NASA lean test. The individual will go straight from a supine position to a standing position with their shoulder blades or their upper back resting against a wall. So Millie, what we're going to do is we're going to stand up straight from here and then I'm going to get you to stand up against the wall here with your back gently resting up against the wall for me. We're then going to continue to measure your blood pressure and heart rate for every minute for 10 minutes here. We're going to continue to measure over this 10 minutes and this is where we're going to be looking for the increase in heart rate of, in Millie's case, over 30 beats per minute. We also monitor blood pressure in this position as well because if there is a drop of systolic blood pressure more than 20, then this then would mean that you wouldn't qualify due to orthostatic hypotension. Okay, Millie, so now we're going to get you to stand up and we're going to check to see if you get any increase in symptoms such as dizziness or lightheadedness, okay? So when you're ready, I'm going to get you to come and stand up for me. Stand close to the patient in case they do experience lightheadedness or dizziness. Millie, how do you feel here? Okay. Beautiful. You're then going to monitor and assess blood pressure in this position for up to two minutes in standing to see if there is any change to that. So for the NASA lean test, once the individual has been lying down, you're going to get them to stand straight up and lean against the wall with their shoulder blades lightly resting. In this position, you're going to reassess the blood pressure and heart rate every minute for 10 minutes once they have stood. To qualify for a positive test with the NASA lean test, you also need to have an absence of a drop of systolic blood pressure of more than 20. You need to have all confounding conditions treated as well that might be contributing to their clinical picture. And you need to have had the symptoms or the um, presentation present for greater than three months.